Have you ever noticed how, despite all your efforts, you remain stuck in the same cycles of frustration? In modern life, something fundamental is being taken away from you, the ability to shape your own reality. Fear, distractions and resistance steal your focus, while your potential for growth goes unnoticed. This reflects a deep hermetic truth. What happens inside you manifests in the world around you. If you don't learn to direct your attention, you risk continuing to create a life you don't want. Are you ready to change that reality? The Copenhagen interpretation, developed by Niels Bohr and Werner Heisenberg in the 1920s, is one of the core theories of quantum physics. It addresses how quantum systems, like subatomic particles, behave before they are observed or measured. According to this interpretation, a quantum system can exist in multiple states simultaneously, a condition called superposition of states. This means that a particle can be in several places at once or have different values of energy or position until it is observed. However, when a measurement or observation is made, this superposition collapses and the quantum system assumes a defined state. This concept is described by the wave function, which represents all the probabilities of a system being in a particular state. The act of observing causes this function to collapse and physical reality manifests in a single state. Thus, the Copenhagen interpretation suggests that conscious perception plays a key role in manifesting reality. This raises profound questions about the role of consciousness in creating the material universe. Human observation, or the measurement of a quantum system, appears to be the determining factor in which version of reality becomes concrete. Therefore, the reality we perceive may not be independent of us, but something we actively shape. This gives rise to philosophical implications that challenge the classical view of an objective universe, where events occur regardless of whether they are observed or not. While the Copenhagen interpretation suggests that the wave function collapses into a single state when a system is observed, the Many Worlds interpretation, proposed by Hugh Everett in 1957, offers a fascinating alternative view. According to Everett, all possible outcomes of a quantum event occur, but each is in a different parallel universe. Therefore, the wave function doesn't collapse. Instead, the universe splits into multiple branches, where each possibility manifests in a parallel world. This interpretation implies that the universe is composed of an infinite number of worlds, all coexisting in parallel, but separate from each other. Every time a decision is made or a quantum event happens, the universe divides into several versions, with each representing a different possibility. For example, in one universe, you may have chosen one career path, while in another universe, you followed a completely different one. The Many Worlds interpretation suggests that the observer does not directly influence the collapse of the wave function, but only experiences one of the many possible realities. Thus, our limited perception of reality may be just one of an infinite number of universes. Although this interpretation seems to remove the power of human consciousness to directly influence reality, it still proposes an expansive and complex view of the cosmos where all possibilities are realized at some level. Now, connecting quantum theories with spirituality and self-awareness, the concept emerges that where attention goes, energy flows. This principle suggests that conscious focus directs the flow of energy, shaping the experiences we attract into our lives. Attention, therefore, is not just a passive tool, but an active force capable of creating and shaping the reality around you. This idea is widely used in various spiritual and esoteric traditions. If a person is constantly focused on difficulties and problems, that energy can manifest more frequently in their reality, as conscious focus attracts more of what it is aimed at. On the other hand, when someone concentrates their energy on positive aspects, like personal growth, 
abundance, and prosperity, it's more likely that these experiences will manifest in their life. This concept reflects the idea that conscious attention is a powerful tool for creating reality. Quantum physics, with its focus on observation as a determining factor in reality, offers an interesting parallel to this idea. Just as observation collapses the wave function into a defined state, human attention also seems to collapse possibilities into concrete events in lived experience. Therefore, the way we direct our attention can literally shape the reality around us. The theory of polar and non-polar attention, developed by modern thinkers in philosophy and spirituality, deepens the understanding of how the mind influences reality. Polar attention refers to a form of focus charged with emotion or judgment, which can attract or repel events based on the polarity of that attention. If someone focuses in a positively polarized way, placing attention on desirable aspects with optimism and confidence, they tend to attract what they desire. On the other hand, if attention is negatively polarized, as in the case of fears, worries or anxieties, it's more likely that the person will attract unwanted events. This concept aligns with the idea that what we project into the world whether consciously or unconsciously, returns to us. Non-polar attention, however, is neutral and free of emotional judgment. It allows events to flow without being charged with intense emotional energy, positive or negative. This neutrality helps a person dissolve the importance given to certain events, allowing them to pass without significant emotional impact. As a result, Non-polar attention helps prevent unwanted patterns from recurring, promoting a state of balance and inner peace. Non-polar attention is often associated with meditation and mindfulness practices, where the goal is to observe thoughts and emotions without identifying with them. When practiced consistently, this form of attention can lead to a more serene and harmonious life where emotional highs and lows are smoothed by acceptance and detachment. The final section addresses the dynamic between resistance and acceptance, a central theme in many philosophies, especially Taoism and Zen Buddhism. Alan Watts, a prominent philosopher who popularized many of these ideas in the West, argued that resistance to life's events is one of the main causes of human suffering. When we resist reality, meaning when we wish things were different than they are, we create tension and perpetuate cycles of pain. In Taoism, the concept of Wu Wei, which can be translated as non-action or effortless action, teaches the importance of flowing with events without resistance. Instead of fighting against the current of life, Taoism suggests that we accept events as they are allowing nature to take its course. This does not mean resignation, but rather active acceptance, where we don't waste energy fighting the inevitable, but adapt and flow with reality. Similarly, in Zen Buddhism, acceptance of the present moment is fundamental to achieving inner peace. Watts argued that by accepting things as they are, without judgment or resistance, we dissolve the power that negative events have over us. This frees us from cycles of fear and trauma, allowing life to flow more harmoniously. Acceptance, therefore, is the key to transforming negative experiences into neutral ones, and eventually into positive ones. When we stop resisting, we stop feeding the cycle of suffering. This concept also applies to the modern understanding of attention. When we place our attention in a non-polar way and accept what is present, Without resistance, we allow reality to flow more peacefully. Quantum physics, with its theories of superposition and the many worlds interpretation, provides a fascinating backdrop for understanding how reality can be shaped by consciousness and attention. The act of observing, focusing and directing attention has profound implications both at the subatomic level and in everyday life. How we choose to focus our energy directly influences the experiences we attract 
and the realities we collapse into our lives. The practice of attention, whether polar or non-polar, offers a powerful tool for manifesting a more balanced and conscious life. By resisting less and accepting more, we create space for the natural flow of events, reducing suffering and promoting inner peace. Every transformation begins with how you direct your attention and energy. We have developed a set of guided meditation practices to help you cultivate non-polar attention and achieve a state of acceptance and inner peace. To access these tools and start your journey of self-awareness, click the link on the screen or in the comments. If this video resonated with you, write in the comments. It made sense to me.